President Trump started the day saying, you're fired. And right now, he is in one of the bluest states in the nation for the first time since his election. Mr. Trump arrived in Southern California late this afternoon. At this hour, he is supposed to start reviewing some of the prototypes for his pet project, the border wall with Mexico. Later, he addresses Marines at a Marine Air Station and will attend a fundraising event tonight in Los Angeles. But the president made some huge news before leaving D.C. by firing his Secretary of State. Devin Skillian is following that part of the story. And Devin, we just heard from the outgoing Rex Tillerson. Exactly right, Karen. The now former secretary, or at least he will be by midnight tonight, very diplomatic on his way out. President Trump used Twitter this morning to announce that he is replacing Tillerson as his Secretary of State. The announcement came just hours after Tillerson returned to Washington from what became an abbreviated trip to Africa. The president and secretary had differed on issues ranging from how to deal with threats from North Korea to the value of the nuclear arms agreement with Iran. The president says he plans to replace Tillerson with former Congressman Mike Pompeo, who was currently the head of the CIA. This afternoon, uh, Karen just mentioned Tillerson uh, made his remarks. He says he has started the transition at the State Department, proud of what he's accomplished. All of us, we know, want to leave this place as a better place for the next generation. I'll now return to private life as a private citizen, as a proud American, proud of the opportunity I've had to serve my country. I've gotten along well with Mike Pompeo. And frankly, I get along well with Rex, too. And, you know, I wish Rex a lot of good things. I think he's going to do, uh, I think he's going to be very happy. I think Rex will be much happier now. Now, this latest cabinet shakeup has many critics in Washington wondering aloud about the administration's actions. I think it again shows the extraordinary uh, disarray in the White House. Uh, it's too bad when a president and a secretary of state can't be in sync. Well, speaking of being in sync, there was another career casualty at the State Department today. Under Secretary of State Steve Goldstein was fired after he issued a statement saying that Tillerson had not spoken with the president and was not given a reason for his firing. Uh, word went out early this morning that Tillerson basically found that he'd been fired on Twitter. Uh, the White House said Tillerson was told last week that he would be let go. So, Karen, much more on this coming up at 5 o'clock and then on uh, NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt here at 630. Back to you. Very big story on that yeah. one. All right. Thank you, Devin. Mm -hmm.